Hey, and welcome back. Um, today, I'm going over all the accessories from Timber Creek that I've put on my rifle. We have safety selector. It's an ambidextrous safety selector. The extended trigger guard. The rear plate with the QD slot. The extended mag release button. And the takedown pins. All of them are in FDE. So, uh, my drill impressions are... I've been very happy with them. They're slightly pricey as far as uh, accessories go, but they do all work well and have been good and durable. Um, start with safety selector. It has a 45 and a 90 degree option. You can mount them, mount it to do either size, and you can put the the long or the short on either side. You can flip flop if you're left-handed or right-handed. Um, yeah, the, my one complaint with this piece is the hex screw is very small. It's uh, I Loctite it in there with some blue Loctite, and I cannot get it out anymore, which, you know, it's fine, not coming out, but um, if you like to modify your rifle, it, it, it is very difficult to remove them because it is used such a small hex head. The extended trigger guard to gloves um very basic this job it nicely fills in and matches up with my mag pull hand uh, pistol grip so you don't get that irritating wear on your uh, on your uh, your middle finger and that does the job nicely nice and durable and looks cool going back to the back we have your end plate with the QD mount point uh, the Q mount is a slightly on the larger side I found that not all uh, QD sling mounts will uh, lock in it really tightly and nicely. So, you know, if you have ones that fit great, it will work, but it does tend to be a touch oversized, what I've seen. On the other side, we have your takedown pins. Um, they have a little bit of you know, fancy little grooves in them, front and rear. Uh, they work good, nice, good, nice tight fit up, and the, the Cerakote on all these parts seems to be very durable and uh, has not worn off on me. Uh, nothing major. There's a small amount of wear on the safety selector, but uh, relatively minor. It's a good durable coating. Uh, the last piece is the extended mag release. It, uh, as you can see there, it, it is quite a bit longer than the standard one. and allows you to easily depress it. Uh, mount it very quick and easily. No complaints there at all. Um, all of these have been durable. Uh, I've been very happy with them. Uh, they, like I said, they're on the pricey side. Um, the selectors are around $30, uh, and then about $12 for the end plate. I think we're out 15 for these, 15 for the takedown pins, and I think it was also around $15 for the, the mag release. But overall, very nice. Uh, no complaints. They all fit properly. Um, yeah. Thank you for watching. I'll be back with more videos to cover the other components of my rifle.